So today we have a new sensor in Tinkercad. This is the fourth sensor, and uh, today we are going to design one project. These kind of pressure sensors are used in all kinds of industries. You will find them in electronic drums, mobile phones, handheld gaming devices, and many more portable electronics. These, are, um, these sensors are easy to use and great for sensing pressure. For the ones who are studying physics, so force is, you know, is measured in newtons, which are units that equal to one kilogram multiplied by meters per second squared. You can calculate the amount of force that an object experiences with the equation force equals mass time acceleration. So today we are going to start with the design. What is what we will need here? The first is our microcontroller. We are going to use Arduino Uno. For the wiring, we have uh, a breadboard. We are going to use a small breadboard. For our pressure sensor, we need a resistor. This one is going to be a 10 ohm or 10 kilo ohm. We are going to use 10 kilo ohm resistor. And let's look for our pressure sensor. And we need a buzzer. So these are going to be our three components for uh, building our design. So let's play with uh, the piezo first. We are going to put it here on line F, rotating. So the pins are going to be facing to the microcontroller for a, an easy wiring. Let's bring our um, pressure sensor and we are going to place it here. Okay, we'll move this for having space for our pressure sensor. We are bringing our resistor and uh, we are going to place this resistor on the first pin. We are going to rotate and uh, it's going to be um, horizontal because in here we are going to connect another cable. There we go. Next thing is uh, the connection of the 5 volts and ground. So we are going to look for 5 volt and uh, connect to the red rail of our um, breadboard. So in here, we draw a cable. We change the color to red to identify the voltage. And then we are going to draw another cable that goes to the blue rail or ground. So basically, we have uh, our connections for the rest of the components. So let's take a look to the piezo. This one has polarity, so the first one in here is negative, so we have to connect this one to our ground. So let's change this one to blue. Our second connection is the positive, and in this case we are going to connect this to our um, Arduino. And uh, let's pick the number 11. So it's going to be here, digital 11. And basically, these are the connections for the buzzer. Our next connection and last one is our, um, our fourth sensor. So in here, the first connection is going to be a resistor, and we need a ground. So we connect and change the cable. The second connection is going to be between the uh, left pin the second resistor, the second um, leg of the resistor, 
and from here we are going to start connecting to the analog uh, side of our microcontroller so i'm going to look for a1 i'm going to pick a1 uh, we can change the color of the cable so we can identify the connections and we bend the cable by double clicking we can redesign the wiring and our last connection is going to be um, the voltage so we need to go to the red rail and redesign our wiring and basically we have our uh, wiring ready the next thing is going to be typing the code code is going to be simple so we uh, first need to declare the variables and in this case we need to take a look where our connections are so i'm going to use the section for uh, text since i'm going to work with c c plus plus erasing the code that tinkercad is giving us in online number one we're going to start typing the first integer which is uh, the buzzer this one was connected to number 11 so we are going to type 11 closing the line with a semicolon We have another variable here, which is the force sensor. And this one is connected to analog one. We need to create value for this uh, um, sensor so in here we can type force value this one is going to be equals zero basically we have our three variables now we continue with the void setup so the last thing is going to be testing the digital design we are going to check the code and um, this code is made of 17 lines and uh, um, I will move this project a little bit to the left and I'm gonna start the simulation. So in here, by clicking on the force sensor, I'm gonna start um, sliding the force from the bottom to the top. So let's see how it works. Excellent, working. So thanks for watching.